Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Planet on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, this is what I'll be installing today, Plant It. It's a self-hosted open source gardening companion app. And um, here, here's some screenshots of it. And also the why and feature highlights. So, I will get to explaining the Docker and Pose now. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over to the search and type plant. And then now you'll see how to install plant it on Portainer right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3.8 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And the first service underneath, uh, underneath the services is called Big Bear Plant it. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Planet. And this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the, the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now environment variables. So the MySQL environment variables right here. And that's the database, the servers down here. And this, this service will connect to the database and store the data in it. Um, so now the JWT secret and expiration time, um, user limits, the upload directory. And um, this is the container side. This isn't the host side. So this is the container directory and the API port is 8080 and you'll know that to, uh, you'll, you'll need to ha have this so you can put the API URL in when you start up the application and go to the UI. Um, Trefl API key, the log level, the allowed origins, the cache, the SSL enabled, which is false, and then certificate path, which is the container path. And then now volumes down here. So Big Bear Planet upload directory is uh, down there, uh, down here. So this is the vo volumes that are defined, and um, that's on the host side right here. And then on the container side is upload a D D I R directory. And then Big Bear Planet certificates. Uh, that's a volume that's defined down the bottom as well. That's on the host side and then on the cont container side right here. So the ports that are, that, that are mapped, so 8080 is the API port. And uh, this is on the host side and then on the container side. And then 3000 on the host, 3000 on the cont container. And then now networks, Big Bear Planet Network. That's a network that's defined right here. And it's a bridge network. And this is so we can use the service names up here. So MySQL host, Big Bear Planet, uh, DB. And then the service right here. So the container name is going to be called Big Bear Planet, DB. And this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. The image is coming off Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart. Uh, policy is set to always, so no, no matter if you stop it or any other reason, errors or any other reason, it will always restart. And then environment variables, so MySQL database, this is the first database that's created, the MySQL root password. You cannot change anything to do with the environment variables once the container has been created. You will need to do that through uh, uh, the SQL. And now ports 3306 is on the host side and then 3306 is on the container side. And then now volumes, so Big Bear Planet MySQL is the on the host side, and then on the container side is Varlib MySQL. Now it's in the same network. And then the next service underneath services is called Big Bear Planet Cache. 
and the container name is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name and it's set to Big Bear Planet Cache. And then now image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. Redis is the Docker image and then the Docker image tag. And then now restart always. Um, so that means if you stop it for any reason or any other reason, then it will always try to restart. So this could get into a restart loop. So you might need to change this to unless stopped if something bad happens. And then now networks. So Big Bear Planet Network, the same network. And now we're going to define the network and the volumes right here. So I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on um, uh, my portainer and I'm going to go to local stacks and then add stack up here. And then I'm going to put a stack name of plant it stack and then now all stacks are are using docker compose underneath so i'm going to come down here to the web editor i'm going to paste in the docker compose that i explained over in big bear video assets once you do that you should be good to go so you can go come down here to deploy the stack and then um what that done is it download the docker image off the registry got it extracted got it up with a docker impose and it's also using the, Do the docker engine of course um it's also set up the network and the volumes so we got it set up so now i'm going to go over the portainer ui um so i'm going to go to local and then stack and then you can go into stack. So nice see stack options up here. So stop the stack, delete the stack, create template from the stack, stack duplication, touch migration. You can also go over the editor right here and you can edit the Docker and pose. And uh, this is very handy. And once you edit the Docker and pose, you can come down here to update the stack and then click it. Now the repull image and redeploy means it'll repull the image freshly off the registry. And if the developer pushed to a, like a latest tag, it'll uh, pull down those changes and then you'll have those changes and then it'll redeploy it. Um, so you can check mark that and update. Um, so now you can see the containers in the stack. So we, we have the Big Bear Planet and the Big Bear Planet cache and then the Big Bear Planet uh, D D DB. And then you can see the published port uh, parts over here and you can see the image and then the stack it's in. Access control down here. Um, so we can go into the container and uh, the container actions up here. So start, stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, duplicate, slash edit. The container status, so the ID, the name, the status of how long it's been running, the created and start time, the um, logs, inspect, stats, console, attach. Logs are great for debugging. Um, access control, create image, and then the container details down here. So the image and then the port configuration, the left is on the host, the right is on the container. Uh, uh, same with this one and uh, this one. So now com command down here, the entry point, and then environment variables right here, the la uh, labels, and then you can change the restart policy, but I would do that in the Docker Impose. Um, so volumes, so on the host and on the container, the connected networks. Um, if you go back to containers, you can go into the stack and um, go, go over here to cache and it's got the same options. Um, so the volumes are different and the connected networks, um, labels, environment variables. Um, if you go back to the stack, you can go back into the DB and um, you can see that same options with this actions, container status, access control, create image, container details, environment variables are different. And then the la uh, labels and then the volume right here and then the connected networks. So that's a little bit about the portainers UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So your portainer's IP address and then a 3000 port. Um, so I'm going to go to it.
So now you need to put your server URL in, which is the um, partainer's IP address, and then um, it will be 8080 if you kept with the default. Um, so I'm going to continue. And then now you're going to go down here to create an account. And then I'm going to put a username in, so Big Bear. And then I'm going to put an email address in. And then I'm going to put a password in. So once you do that, you're going to just say sign up. So now you're in here. So you can go to the search button down here and go to custom. And you can add your first plant. So testing. And then testing. And then save down here. So, so now you've saved the species. So I'm going to uh, click here to add plant. And um, you can put an insert, uh, the price in here, and then seller, location, a note. I'll just say plus in saving. Um, so once you do that, you can go over here and you can see it now. I'm going to go down here to the plus, and now you can add the plant to it. And um, you can go to events right here, and you can select which events happen. Um, and then you can select a date. A note down here and then the uh, add new event so now we've added the events so you can go over here to the more tab and you can see more info like that it uh, profile the ch uh, change password ch uh, change language the, the stats which is the event count the plant count species count the image count um, the server URL, the not, uh, notifications, and then you can hook this up to no, uh, uh, on the notify server. And then you can go backwards. Um, so you can log out the app version. Um, it, it is open source, so you can go to the GitHub. Um, so that's a little bit about Planet's UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Planet running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.